What is up guys, it's Sparkman back with another video. So today we are going to create an endless runner in GDevelop. GDevelop is a free application you can download, so go ahead, download it. The link is under the description below. Yeah, so GDevelop is great because it allows you to export games to, um, to Windows, Android, iOS and even Linux. Oh yeah, and I forgot that, HTML5 games too. Now the cool thing about HTML5 is that um, uh, you can transform HTML5 into Xbox One games and uh, in PlayStation 4, which is kind of cool. But this is far from a AAA game. Uh, this probably will be suited for maybe a mobile game or like an HTML5 game. Now one easy way to monetize these kind of games is by uh, simply uploading them to the uh, Google Play Store and place uh, ads here at the bottom. I have another video about uh, placing um, ads on um, on this kind of games. Check it out. The link, the link is down below. Okay, just made this about 10 minutes ago, so it's not that um, overly uh, complicated. Very simple. At least to get started, you can see that the aspect ratio it's uh, pretty similar to a cell phone, and if you press the up key, you can jump. You can sort of hop, I should say. Okay, and the goal is to, I guess, jump those blocks. And uh, so you could variate the uh, distance of the blocks, and uh, you could variate how many blocks. And um, right now it's just a matter of finding the uh, the right tuning for the uh, block generation, so it will be fun to play the game. It's a bit like Geometry Dash, but uh, a bit slower. So we're going to begin from zero, and uh, let me just delete everything here on the um, on my um, on the events. Alright, so here is a blank slate, and we are going to begin from zero. No events, and no variables. Now this file will be available at uh, my website or at uh, my Patreon page. Also, the complete source file at my website. Yeah, if you want to support this channel, uh, yeah download the source code from my website. Now that we're past that marketing stuff, uh, let's get started. Sure, let's begin. Uh, if you run this, you notice that nothing happens. So let's begin by giving our block um, a uh, behavior. We are going to make this a uh, platform uh, character. Turn off the uh, default controller so you can move the character. We are going to control our character from the events. So if you run this, now you have gravity. Here's the background, which you name this uh, background. And uh, we are going to make our background uh, a platform object. Now if you run this, you notice that now you can uh, rest on the background, which is good. So now, let's go to events and uh, let's create a new event. Just click on this button here. Add a new condition. And if you press a button, let's see, where is my keyword? My keyword is here somewhere. It says keyword. If you press a key, if you press the up key, there it is. Uh, if that happens, then we want to uh, jump. Fine platformer platformer behavior controls we want to jump select the object our object is called block click OK and that's it so now if you press the up key you can jump you can kind of see where we're going with this we are going to generate uh, random blocks here. Uh, now we're gonna put all our variables inside this object here. So let's go to um, this object, object variables, and let's add our first variable. So this one will be called, we call it clock. There we go. Back to events, new event. Now don't add anything here, just add an action. We want to. Um, Add to that variable. Go to variables. 
and the object is a background that is our variable we want to add one to it now variables are invisible you can't see them but if you want to you can display them so let me bring down this text here now if you don't know how to enter text all you have to do is uh, uh, you add a new uh, text from here okay so let's um, set the text equals the variable find the text here where is the text 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 modify text just uh, call it something else so you don't get confused uh, here we're going to call it um, super text there we go so let's find text modify super text equals a variable object variables the object is background and our variable is called clock so now that's going to display our variable you can see that um, it goes up now when it gets to say 100 make a new condition if the variable um, clock equals actually um, equals or greater than 100 then we can set that variable back to zero so that create so that creates a, um, a loop background clock equals zero try it out you can see that uh, when it goes past 100 it simply resets back to zero so when this happens we can create a block okay it is our moving block let's rename it to moving block we got the g there so that's our moving block and uh, place one of them here back to this condition here with with no condition we are simply going to move the block go to um, uh, top down movement controls simulate left for um, our moving block there you go so now it moves just like that so when the, so when this reaches a hundred or greater we want to create a block objects this green object is called our spawn object okay let's place it here so when this reaches a hundred we want to spawn one of those objects okay let's go to objects create object we want to create a moving object now for the x position we want the x position of uh, we want the x position of uh, spawn now for the y position we want the y position of spawn there we go leave this empty this is for layers you don't have to worry about that and when this reaches 100 it will create objects from here so that seems fine you can see that um, now we just need to move this up and down for that um, we have this object here it's just called top so let's move our uh, block um, in the up direction now for that we need another uh, variable let's place it on ground this one we can call it um, top oops this one we call it the uh, top top down you can call it whatever you want okay new condition if top down what is the uh, variables and 
is our uh, background which contains all the all the variables if top down it's uh, equal zero then we can move our object uh, up where is my um, top down movement press up for the span object try it out that works fine and um, let me just copy this going to uh, paste it changes for one and uh, we're going to change this to um, pressing down so now all we need to do is uh, change that variable okay so new condition so if we collide with the um, with the top object Spawn collides with um, top. Then we can change the variable. The variable of uh, background. Top down. We want to set it to uh, to one. Try it out. And you can see that um, our block returns. We want to uh, copy this again, <coughs> paste it, change the collision for uh, our uh, background, and we want to change this back to zero. So that will make our uh, object go up and down. You can see that now that will create uh, blocks sort of randomly. So you can jump over those blocks. Now you can increase the frequency of the um, of the blocks by simply uh, accelerating the clock. Okay example you can uh, change this to 50 so now they will be created um, a lot more frequently now you don't have to display the um, this here It will sort of look like something like this. Okay. Some blocks are coming under the uh, the ground there. So we want to change that. So if there is a collision between uh, moving block and the background. We can set the Y, Y position uh, of a moving block equals 192. Try it out. There you go. That thing still works fine. Okay, so now we need to make the moving blocks uh, platform objects. Try it out. Okay, so when we're jumping, we want to sort of like move forward a little bit. New condition. If our character is jumping, what is the uh, platform behavior? If it's jumping, then we want to uh, simulate pressing forward. 
controls simulate press and write for block okay he hops a little too much there it has to be less we can adjust this here their behaviors we want uh, our maximum speed to be maybe 50 and acceleration we want super slow acceleration maybe um, 500 almost nothing and that seems to work not too bad now the goal of the game will be to uh, not get pinned down by the uh, by the blocks okay you can also generate some red blocks which will like kill the player instantly and they will get game over so that will be a very fun game to play so there you go guys uh, this is the basics of how to create a um, an endless runner on um, gdevelop I'm going to polish this a little bit more and uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to make part two of this and uh, maybe we can polish this a little bit more I guess the last step will be to upload this to the uh, Google Play Store alright guys uh, thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe yeah hit the bell next to the subscribe button so so you get notifications about new videos see you in the next video bye now